This week's boiler tip, we're gonna talk about conductivity and your sight glass. Looking at your sight glass daily is important because we wanna, number one, make sure there's safe level of water in the boiler, but we also wanna look at how that water behaves. And one of the things that can affect the behavior of water in our sight glass is conductivity. Um, conductivity is simple to measure and fairly inexpensive. There's some low cost um, testers out there. Um, and it's something that I would recommend that every service technician and every boiler operator have access to. Um, we're gonna take a look at the sight glass with a couple different ranges of conductivity and see the difference in how that water behaves as a result. Here's an example of some video taken with our conductivity well above 4,000 micromoles or microsiemens, which really different names for the same values. Um, and what we can see is we've got a very erratic water level. This is typically not because of pump or water level control operation. Neither one of those are really cycling. It's purely a function of that foaming and priming within the boiler. The reason that water level behaves differently with different levels of conductivity is because the steam bubbles burst differently um, with normal and with high conductivity. With high conductivity, steam bubbles resist breaking, and so we get foaming and erratic water level behavior. Now, every boiler is going to be different, so what we want to do is be familiar with our water level behavior and do daily conductivity testing. And if we see anything out of the order, ordinary, go to the tester and uh, get a good reading.